five star James. I don't care what stars they give you. You're five star. You've been a five star. This is much part of there. Listen, man, University of Miami fans want to know one thing. Do they do does University of Miami have a chance to get James Williams? Yeah, they do have a chance. Welcome to South Florida. Yeah. Welcome to South Florida. Welcome to South Florida. When you when you when you on the field, is it pregame? Like, is it ever? Do you ever? Are you ever afraid? Does you ever feel fear, or do you ever feel pressure? Nervous, nervous. You ever feel pressure? Not one bit. No, no, none of that. No. Who, who's your who, who's, who's been your tough defender? Like, who's guarded you the tough? Yeah, who's the tough person you played? I don't see nobody. I knew nobody. Was gonna, he was gonna give it the damn hood. That's why I'm a play. I'm a playmaker. I just, I, I love receiving. I love to catch the ball. I love to go over people's head. Yeah. Me, so I just gotta do what I do. University of Miami, they land you, and then they land the number one, we call him football player, number one player in the nation, James Williams. Yeah. Both playing the same position, right? How do you envision that working? Are they telling you how that's going to work? Or? Uh, well, I feel like me and James, two different safeties. Uh-huh. And I'm more of the ball hogging safety. He's more of the rangey playing, like, you couldn't say, like, in the box, right? Like the striker position, strong safety. Right. And I'm more with the free safety. So I already know in practice that's gonna just build great competition. And when the game comes, it's gonna be easy. That's what's up. I know we go hand in hand because it's ain't like we James, I don't care what stars they give you. You're five star. You've been a five star. This is much part of there. Listen, man, University of Miami fans wanna know one thing. Do they do does University of Miami have a chance to get James Williams? Yeah, they do have a chance. Welcome to South Florida. When you when you when you on the field, is it pregame? Like, is it ever? Do you ever? Are you ever afraid? Does you ever feel fear, or do you ever feel pressure? Nervous, nervous. You ever feel pressure? Not one bit. No, no, none of that. No. Who, who's your who, who's, who's been your tough defender? Like, who's guarded you the tough? Yeah, who's the tough person you played? I don't see nobody. I knew nobody. nobody. Yeah, he was gonna give it the damn hood. I'm a playmaker. I just I, I love receiving. I love to catch the ball. I love to go over people's head. Yeah. Me? So I just got to do what I do. University of Miami, they land you, and then they land the number one, we call him football player, number one player in the nation, James Williams. Yeah. Both playing the same position, right? How do you envision that working? Are they telling you how that's going to work? Or? Uh, well, I feel like me and James, two different safeties. Uh huh. And I'm more of the ball hogging safety. He's more of the rangey playing like you couldn't say like in the box but like the striker position strong safety right and i'm more with the free safety so i already know in practice that's going to just build great competition and when the game comes it's going to be easy that's what's up. i know we go hand in hand because it's like like we're the same person right so he has like his strengths and weaknesses and i have my strengths and weaknesses and we're going to just he can feed off of me learn how to i guess be more of the free safety and then i can learn off of him be more of like a Close to the closer to the box safety, right. so I feel like we're just gonna make each other better. Yeah, James James um played free safety. He wanted to play free safety. He he was big on that. But James don't never be back at free safety. James be <laughs> James be closer to the line. This linebacker sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that, but that, I mean that's his. That's, that's just him. Yeah, you know, his team. Man. That's his chest. Yeah, that's it. That's him playing chess with the team. I totally yeah. get. It. I, I now I did. I covered James since he was that big. Bro. I've known him. I've known him all his life. I just feel like. Every time it's, it's just man on man. If if they wins, if he wins the battle, then that goes to play. He doesn't right. break on the run, or if this person like doesn't take that step, or certain certain things. It just I feel like 
you beat your man every play, right. then you got the best chance of stopping a team or vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. Five star. Lean on the team. Six twelve. Two hundred and seventy six pounds. Yeah, the first play was like a tackle for loss, for like yeah. six. Yeah. Oh, they didn't touch you, like. <laughs> yeah, like they did explain not. to me, though. Like, what what is that about? Like, how do they not? You six five, three hundred pounds. Is it something? Is a swim move? Is something you do? Like, they don't see you. You yeah. teleporting. What's I'm going on? Too fast for too They don't realize you that yeah. fast when I'm the game starts. Like, I'm gonna be the best player on the field. Like. I just gotta show the world, like I'm the true fifty. I'm the next fifty six. Oh, the next. I'm gonna just go crazy this year. Like show people, like Wawa fifty six. Like show show them, like I want to take care of my mom. I want to put in a big house, stupid cars, big pool in the backyard. Put on for my brothers, my nieces and nephews, like coaches. I think all of them boys for like. Having me here at this like position that I'm in now, cause like it's a hard work and dedication. Without all of them to guide me in the right path, I wouldn't be here today. So I thank all of them for like helping me out. Like, yeah. Sean, you up late tonight, dog. <laughs> What's going on, man? So y'all can't say it ain't morning because we about to go on to 12 o'clock, dog. Y'all can't say it ain't morning time. Oh, let's get the thanks up. So what's going on, man? I'm deep about talking about everything from Bitcoin to ball. It's late. We got, what, 26 in here? How many is it? 27. Shot the sun around with the 1999. Get in, man. We're going to talk about few things one of the main things is um uh, college football playoffs the college football playoffs like in 2024 they're going to take it to 12 teams The college football playoffs long awaited expansion appears to be coming sooner than expected. The Rose Bowl has signed an agreement that will allow the college football playoffs to expand to 12 teams for the 2024 2025 season, two years earlier than its previously planned, starting in 2026. Huh. 
<laughs> it's funny. You want to say habitual dollar? You can't pronounce on chi on chi when, when when he when we were at um, Legends Camp, whatever whatever Mario Camp was called. Johnson, Johnson, that was on the space tonight. Jermaine, Jermaine, <laughs> Jermaine, actually went up to him. Actually went up to him, and um. And ask him how to pronounce his name. Jermaine Phyllis, dog. Jermaine go talk to anybody. Yeah, actually went up to him and asked him how to pronounce his name. I think it's a chi. I think it's a chin a chin pong. But that was a long. T- that was a long time ago. It really was. But I tell you this, man, he's one of the biggest human beings. I ain't going to say it. Big Daddy Rick Bo was really big, too, but <laughs> I met him in person. But this this dude, man, this, this dude, this dude was huge. I think I got, I got some video of him. I think he was standing next to the tight end. He was standing next to the tight end. I think the one that didn't come, um, that didn't commit to us. I'm gonna show you. And he was standing next to who? Oh, this guy is he, this man is huge, man. Oh, them boys up late with me. Look at them boys. Them boys up late with me. Yo, yo. I got rich. Yo. <laughs> Richie here, KB. Well, uh... Let me see, man. This man is huge. Rich, say something. I can't hear you, Rich. Say something. Yo, you can hear me? You, you can't hear me? I can hear Rich. So that's Greg Russo and Phillips. I can hear Rich. Rich, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. KB, you in here? Let me see. Let me hey, see if it's something more. In the audience, y'all, edit, y'all, edit Mike. Y'all in the audience. Y'all tell Street. No. Y'all tell Street it's him. Yeah, that's the yeah. seven for real. He won. Tell him, it's, tell him, tell Street he can't hear us, but everybody else do. Speakers. All right, I think I hear you now, dog. You straight, bro? <laughs> All right, Rich, I think I heard you say something. I hear. All right, now hey, I, had, I had to shut the computer down. And I had to fix everything back. I hear y'all now, man. Y'all good? Ooh, look at what's the name, Mama. Mm-hmm. Got that wagon. <laughs> oh, my but this is Anchi. That's the, the, the linebacker mom. What's the linebacker name, Rich? I'm, I'm going to fart right now. I'm drawing a brain fart right now. Malik, yeah. That's Malik. That's Malik standing yeah. right there. But this is the cornerback. The well, I mean, that's the tight end, Jackson Howard. And a cheer pawn was standing with them. Man, it's huge, man. Look at this man, man. He bigger than the coaches. He bigger than Don Solinger. <laughs> this man is huge, man. Some things you can't coach. No, you ain't coaching. Who is that? Who 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 is that? Co- who is that with that green hat on? Who is that? We never figured that out. Let me see if I can zoom in. We, we never figured out who that was. I don't know who that is. Somebody in the come chat might know. They know every goddamn thing. Let me see if we zoomed into his name. Uh, I don't know who that was. You got a Legends t-shirt on, so. Mm-hmm. He pretty tall himself. Yep, former player. That boy big, dog. 
Yeah, look at his look at his leg. Like look at his trunk. Look at his legs, bro. <laughs> Shit like be like a tree, boy. <laughs> Does he look like a yeah, look like a high school kid at all, man? Yeah, he looked like yeah. he could add add thirty pounds to his frame too. That that haircut the haircut is the only thing that made me know he a kid. Right, right. Uh, smash that like button, pause. Somebody to my pause. Uh, so so now, nah, bro. Uh, so he flips back from Michigan. Um, and you never know why these kids flip. You don't know. You never know why. You don't know if Michigan stopped recruiting him or, or whatever. You you don't know. Uh, but first, uh, the college football playoffs, right? That's what I want to talk about. It's going to twelve, the twelve format. Um, I didn't think that was going to happen that fast because I've always thought that, man, all the money in the bowl game is going to be hard to restructure. Man, these people do whatever they want to do, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I think the real issue is the bowl games is becoming devalued. You think you about it. It started with kids starting to sit out if they was going to go to mm-hmm. the so now yeah, your favorite really. player is no longer going to be there. <laughs> so that's ticket sales. Then on top of that, now with, with NIL, it's even less reason to play in bowls if it's not for a championship. Mm-hmm. So, you think, so, so you think that'll make them stay? I think so. Yeah, because I think you'll play good. if you if you got a chance to win a title. Why not? Why wouldn't you play? Yeah, it's mutually beneficial now. Cause I get let's let's say I'm TCU and I'm a running back or quarterback at TCU. I'm getting mm. better exposure because now I'm playing the best the, the top, you know, twelve in the country, plus um my NIL stock is gonna go through the roof because I made the playoffs. If 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 I'm a senior with a chance to go to the league for Tulane, and, and we got Georgia first round. I ain't playing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now call it what you want to call it. I'm, I'm going home. I ain't doing it, dog. Nah, you, you're right. Nah, that's a that's a business decision. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can you can pull a TVD the first time somebody touch you. Just grab that shoulder. <laughs> Go under the booth. <laughs> yeah, like, man, I think that's it. Black tip me. Hey, black tip me, dog. Uh, <laughs> I walked past that mm-hmm. black tip and I felt like hitting it like, oh, get up. <laughs> black tip me, dog. Well, how do y'all think it's going to be structured? You got any idea? Wait up. I'm going to run and get this charger. Talk about that, Rich. How you think it's going to be structured? Man, the only thing I would say is you got to have the, the bigger – you're gonna have have program um college football um what do you call them leagues for lack of a better term right now I'm drawing a blank but you're gonna have like the SEC Big Ten they're probably gonna have two teams in there each so conferences. now you got yeah those conferences the ones that have the more the most TV money is gonna be the ones that get the favorable slots. Plus, for the independents like a Notre Dame, it's going to work for them big time because, hell, they're, they're going to be in the playoffs every year, um, <laughs> regardless of what the ACC does. And um, you're going to have some some teams that do well, like you, you see TCU this year, you see a Baylor um, in years past, UCF in years past. You're going to get teams like that. I would say at least three teams like that. That's going to get a legitimate opportunity to play for a national championship. At least three or four teams like that. Yeah. I think that's, I think it's, I'm glad they did it. Like, bro, it's real football. That's what real football does. You have more than a four or 16 playoff, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. So uh, I'm excited. Um, How it's going to shake out. I'm not, you know, I'm not that guy, but it's just like just like the NFL, uh, just like the Super Bowl. You probably gonna move it around. Championship game gonna be different, bowls or whatever. Um, and you still call each playoff round. You know, each playoff weekend is gonna be a bowl game weekend. So, 
Um, it took too long, if you ask me. I asked you, Miami Central coach, before the New Orleans game. Um, hey, how, how you get how do you get your players up? How do you get your players up to play New Orleans? Not saying New Orleans is a horrible team, but after you play Northwest in the big rivalry in the previous in the in the previous round of the playoffs, you beat Northwestern in the, in the, in the hard fought game, packed house. Then you get New Orleans in the next round. How do you get the team up to play with the same energy against New Orleans and y'all beat them 52 to 6 already this season? Jude, Jude looked at me and said, This is our 12th round of the playoffs. This just a third. And that's all he said. Hmm. College football was set up that hmm. every game, hey. <laughs> every game. It was was your play? You know what I'm saying. Every game had your season on the line. That's how it's always been right. set up, Kyle. You think? Mm-hmm. Do you think you still keep the same excitement, or it all just gets filtered into the playoffs, and then it gets real? I think. I think. Um, hey, Street, go to go to the group, man. See what you want put out there. Um, click okay. on that. Um, but I, I think um, that's a good question. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think you started to see that. Um, happening anyway, because like you were saying earlier, you look at the parity that the, the portal has caused, and you look at some of these teams like Georgia, all pretty much was beat by Missouri. Honestly, I think it was another like it was a it was a sorry team that they struggled with. Uh, Bama struggled with some sorry team. You saw some weird upsets over the last two years. You know what I'm saying? So it started to be it probably was going in a direction where you was going to start to see two lost champions as opposed to undefeated seasons and one lost guys. Hmm. Yeah, man, I think, hmm. I don't know. I know we always loved college football the, the, the way it, the way it was. And, I guess it's the same now, but when our team was winning, I mean, we knew we could only lose one game. Maybe we can get away with a loss to Florida State. Um, and that kind of made it exciting. Um, oh, Street, Street, think about this too. With, with all the conference realignment and stuff, you was definitely finna get more two-loss teams. You know what I'm saying? The SEC was finna get tougher. They trying to bring in this, you know what I'm saying? We was gonna have smaller conferences with more teams and more power teams, so you probably right. gonna start to see that parity and stuff anyway. Right. Right. No. That, no. That's that's a that's a way to look at it. Um, yeah, but I, I just oh, twelve teams, and y'all y'all think that that they keep the kids in. It it, it definitely it will be like. Oh man, you finna lay lay down on us because we plan to play Georgia. <laughs> it'll definitely <laughs> be hard enough. It'll be harder to make that business decision. You know what I'm saying? Uh mm-hmm. it'll definitely be harder to make that business decision. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they 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 can begin talking about the draft and uh Daryl Streeter slid down a couple of rounds out. We just saw when he <laughs> came up against big competition, he just didn't want to play. And it just <laughs> You have to question the guy like that's hard. You know, your teammates are going to battle and you know, they're gonna make you drop some spots that street. You think you think I don't know, I don't think the NFL care. You know they, they like care. to talk and talk. They they might not care, but you know Kuiper them <laughs> like to you know what I'm saying, talk the bullshit and shit. We got fast technology on that though. E one dropped this in the group me three minutes ago. <laughs> 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 E1, where you live at? E1 might be in Kansas somewhere. You know, he dropped his group three minutes ago, and it's already up on the screen. Shout out to E1. Yeah, man. Hypothetically, 12-team college football playoff bracket. So it'd just be them picking 12 teams? Think, think about the excitement that could, that could bring Street. Imagine an Ohio State and Michigan championship game. Not for us, but just to you know, that rivalry and them fans. Like some shit you probably thought you'd never see. You know what I'm saying? Like the actual rivalry being the championship game. Will Florida State Miami ever play uh, the championship? Man, no. It had to be. No? It had to be. Mm, 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 mm. That's, what, that's one of the main reasons I didn't want to come to the ACC. Because I said, man, 
one of these years, I wanted to see us in the motherfucking championship game playing each other, dog. I wanted to see that so bad. Right. Ohio State in Michigan. And none of the Michigan fans will be able to afford to get in the stadium, probably. You probably have another Ohio State fans. <laughs> it probably, probably be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It'd probably be half a corporate, and then, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm-hmm. So I guess they'll just pick it. The SEC will get six teams, and everybody else will get divided up the rest of the six. <laughs> 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 Missouri be getting in the goddamn playoffs. Mm-hmm. We'll get out. We'll get out one representative from the ACC. You know, it'll be uh, rich, rich, and rich and Dabo. They'll be our one representative. <laughs> I um, uh, I love it, though. I love it. Yeah. Anything interesting in the space tonight, man? I pulled Papa in. I was talking to him and his dad before we got on there, and I just was explaining to him, um, like why why Miami was was bad. He had a he had a, a gist in his mind why 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 they were, but that's the second recruit I've spoken to, and it's like they didn't they just see Miami losing. They didn't really they don't really think about why they losing. They just assume mm-hmm. that. Them boys don't want to. They ain't. They ain't going hard like us. Um, and I just. Rem- I, I explained it to him. I just reminded him. I was like, "Listen, bro. Three years ago, four years ago, we was looking at them recruits just like we looking at you. You mm-hmm. may be different. You may not be different. I say, but what you're looking at can happen to you in two years. It's, I don't think Mario will leaving in two years, but but a coaching change can happen. A coaching change can happen. A new system come in, and I just want you to understand it now, mm-hmm. so you could deal. It ever ever happened then, um, and he understood what I was saying. He understood what I was saying. Uh, you want to believe that, but no, he he knew a lot though. He knew a lot. He knew everything yeah. about the linebackers. He knew it's almost as, it's almost as if they sat in the room with with uh, with Charlie Strong and keep and, and they went over film of what the linebackers was doing on the field. What about that? How about, that for, how about that for recruiting? Right. right. Like, Charlie be like, hey, man, Popo, let me tell you how these boys are fucking up. Let me show you. That's what it sounded like to me. It sounded like they sat down and looked at the film and was like, hey, man, look at four. Look at 11. I'm, I'm, he I'm, said the same yeah, thing look. about Flag, Cal, that you said about Flag. What do you say? What he said. He sees the same thing we see. That flag can understand understands the defenses. Flag is smart. He's just not as as, mm-hmm. as athletically as talented. As a Wesley, mm-hmm. who, he said Wesley they, was straight. He said no Wesley fine. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like a Wesley who looked like he shot out of a cannon. You know when he make a tackle. Yeah, but yeah, I, it, it's, it's it's and that's the that's the. It's funny you bring up flag because that's when the the cutoff came when we had to let Popo in, right? Yeah. Um, that's the and it was the thing. That's the thing. Like when we were talking at the beginning of the season, I kept saying, and a couple of people were saying, like, "No, there's a there's a football player inside of flag, bro." Like, whatever y'all saw mm-hmm. last year, dog, I, I, there's a football player inside. I didn't think he was gonna start. You know what right. I'm saying? He hit my he right. went past my expectations, but I knew he was a he he could be he could be on this team. I knew that much, and everybody just wanted to throw the man away. So right. it's just kind of like it, it, things just take proper development, proper usage, and so that's why I still go hard for some of the kids that's leaving, some of the kids that didn't play because I can see through a bunch of shit, man. You know what I'm right. saying? So, but but what I what I really want to say, like with Popo, I'm 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 glad that we got those type of kids because honestly, we don't deserve those type of kids. But that's just how much weight the brand Miami carries that people still care these kids. That have never seen Miami win still care that much that they want to mm-hmm. resurrect the program, bro. Because we're not the only program that need resurrecting. No, not at all. Not at all. But no, bro, it sounded, it, yeah, that's what it sounded like, dog. Every time you think you know something, man, it's, you learn something else. Hmm. He actually did film study on the current linebackers at, 
<laughs> and you will. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> with the coaches there. That's what it sounded like. On an official visit. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounded like. Yeah. Oh, how we gonna how we gonna use you? Oh, how you gonna get a chance to play? Huh? Come on, sit down. Come look at her. <laughs> come look at it. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, I was just breaking it down to a man, explaining explaining that to him. Um, um, and he got it. He 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 got it. He, I, I think, what he was saying is true. I think they're recruiting a different type of player with a different type of mindset. Uh, and I guess that was so hard in the past because we wasn't going as hard as Mario. And Mario and them are kind of like more strategic and direct and detailed in who they're going after, who they want to go after. Mm -hmm. And they go after them. It's not so, it's not like you're getting a second, you're getting a sloppy seconds from Bama and Georgia. And then, all right, who, who y'all ain't take? All right, we're going to take the risk home. It ain't that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> no, nah, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't that. It ain't that at all. But one thing I don't get, man, because Steve Kim said it tonight when he was like, uh, "When they say the players, they just don't want to play. The players, they just don't want to play, or, or, or got a bunch of guys in there that don't want it." Um. Yeah, Romello has fought next to Cam Kitchens for over six, seven years on the football field. I'm sure Cam won't look at Romello and say, man, he don't, you know what I'm saying? He don't want it. Like, you know, that dude don't want to play. You know what I'm saying? They don't play together for years. It's hard to do. But everybody got their battles, man. Everybody has their battles. I, I really like I like um, seeing um, Romello in that last game. He got a lot of work to do in the weight room. He a lot did, of work. Uh, I got I got a picture of him. I got a video of him. Now that you bring that up, huh? I think y'all saw it, right? I think yeah. Of him kneeling in the end zone mm. on the video in the member section. I think it's on. I think let me I'm gonna check for y'all. Very yeah. It looked like he got smaller. I'm yeah. not sure how how that was possible. Let me see. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can find it for y'all. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think him catching that ball, that probably could have been the difference between, you know, what I'm saying, maybe if he was thinking of transferring or not, or well, just maybe if he was thinking of leaving or not. That's true. He can still do things at Miami, even at his frame, no doubt. But you know, that's that should not keep him off the field. But it should make them want to work harder in the weight room because the whole objective of doing this thing is going to the next level. And if you if you're not putting time in that weight room, it ain't gonna show. And at that next level, it's just gonna be impossible to to really play at a very high level when you not you know you don't have your core strength about you. It's gonna be tough. Mm hmm. Um. I just hope. Yeah, man. I, I just hope that was good enough to get him to 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 bounce back or wake up or whatever whatever it is that needs to happen. True. Very true. So uh, so I'm hearing the number is how many how how many recruits we bringing in? How many recruits we got committed right now? Let me see. Twenty. What the hell? I'm hearing the number is going to be 30, 35, easy. A new faces that we see. Easy, I was told. About 30? 30 easy. <laughs> 30 easily easy. 30. Yeah, yeah, e easily 30. I mean, we know oh, we're going to have at least 30 leave. With graduation as well as the portal, right? I don't know. Them just, just looking at the numbers now. Alabama dropped how many today? Six. <laughs> like flies. Christian Leary, he out there. Could, right you, could you imagine that slot receiver room? 
Restrepo, Christian Leary, and, um, and Brashard. Oh my God! And, oh, and Ray Ray. Yeah, and, we've seen we've seen smaller receivers than this though, dog, haven't we? We saw Devontae Smith. Yeah. Mhm. We've seen we've seen schemes on Lamar Thomas. We did. We we have. Um. I, I'll say there's a there's a problem though, like just from the way that the game is played now. I think, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Like that's a that's a damn tight end right there. <laughs> Shit. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's, it's receivers that are small. Yeah, we we've seen some skinny some skinny dudes before. Yeah. Jameson Williams was skinny last year at Bama. He was a tiny dude. Not as tiny as the dude before him. But he was he I mean He wasn't a stocky receiver. He killed us, didn't he? KB, oh, you yeah. back? Yeah, stream yard don't like me tonight. See, that space ain't like you either. How many times I had to add you in though? Bro, man, <laughs> it was hot, bro. <laughs> that <Twitter> space <laughs> chilling, dog. No, Twitter be tripping, dog. Big time. <laughs> now, I'm gonna let y'all in on the secret. I ended the first space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed that part. Anytime, anytime X already in there as Caneville, and if I happen to come in there as Caneville, as soon as I hit that button and come in there as Caneville, that's it. Space gonna shut down. <laughs> I gotta come in as Footballville as if he's Caneville or vice versa. Hey, Street. So before I left, you was talking about like because uh, I saw what you said about you know I hear you about Mellow and all that stuff, right? Oh, uh, and you know, I feel the same exact way. I, I don't like that. Like, it's like, how do y'all just like decide what's in somebody's brain or what's in somebody's heart? Like, I would like for you to elaborate more on your feelings about that. Like when they say these kids don't want to play football or whatever, like, I would like for you to elaborate on that. Um, Were you trying to say how do, how do they decide that they don't want it? Right. Right. Well, like, how do I they think- decide that? I think the fan sees it from. Let me, let me make an example. Um, example. Let me see. Um, hmm. I think the fan sees missed tackles. They see. They can see the air go out of uh, uh, out out the team uh, when certain things happen. Um, I think that's how the fans see it. They're looking at it from that lens, and then you hear a little thing. I, um, I had a – and I group, group me right here. I'm going to read something to y'all. Uh, you get little reports like this. Let me see. One player on the team conveyed to the class associate biggest cultural problem within the team. A close associate, the biggest cultural problem in the team. There were several players recruited by Diaz who didn't buy into Crystal Ball's approach. They're lazy, slacking off. All they do is complain. And it brings down the rest of the team. You am on the field staff cry, bad attitudes, and parents who think their kids can play but can't. I think <laughs> right. So so I think I think you hear stuff like that, right? And and stuff like that, mm-hmm. you you have to be careful. That's why I don't I don't say, you notice I don't say stuff like that. I don't say stuff like man, these dudes don't want it. It's not right. ever gonna come from me. You know, you're never gonna hear me say that because I know you got a group of different people in the room from different places with different issues and different talents. How all of a sudden 40 of them don't want it at the same time? They don't play football, they hold right. Yeah. Right. Mm-mm. 
mm, 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 mm. this goes back to it goes back to the leaders, right? What did AJ say a good mm. coach was? Somebody who can get their kids to buy in. Start there. Luke, Luke said the same shit. Luke Start said the exact there. same thing yesterday. So, right. So if you have failed to get your kids to buy in because your intentions are something else, mm-hmm. it, it's not necessarily buy in this year. It's more so like, hey, man, we need a couple of y'all to buy out. <laughs> Well, and, and that's the thing. Culture. Go ahead. I was about to say that's the thing with the cultures too, and and what we've been saying the past couple of weeks, where we're like, how do you evaluate evaluate yourself as a coach? Because you are the one who's supposed to be selling the kids on what they need to be doing. So, <laughs> go back. You got to go back to the drawing board and learn how to sell. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's what I yeah. well, that's what I said tonight, right? When they were talking about not having a KJ and not having a um, Rambo or whatever for the judge, you know, to take the guys out of it. I'm like, if I'm a coach and I know I don't have a, Ram, uh, a KJ Oswald on my team, I got to figure out what I need to do to go out and make my squad work, what I'm going to do to get these receivers to go out there and do the jugs on their own because I know I can't be out there with them because of rules. And like somebody else was also saying, you got GAs. GAs can be, you know, do a lot of things or whatever. But it's my job as a coach when I know I don't have a KJ Osborne to make sure my guys are working or getting or whatever, whatever it may take for me to do that. If that's me pulling guys, taking off playing time, whatever it is I need to do, that's what I need to do. Yeah, and a GA is still your employee. They're employed by the coach, so they're going to do whatever the coach tell them. That's how leadership works. It's not just, mm-hmm. you know, people – just because they have a higher purpose or they can get to a next level by doing something. Well, Tiger Woods even has a coach. and He was arguably one of the best golfers that ever lived, right? Why? Mm-hmm. <laughs> because he's constant. he has to constantly challenge himself, and the coach is the person that pushes the right buttons in order to make them better. So... What you think you're doing with, with kids in football? Now, I do agree with this. I wholeheartedly agree with this. If you got parents who are constantly having something to say on Twitter and not talking <laughs> to you man to man, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I, I that I ain't got no words for. Like, yeah, I, I, I come get your jit. It's really that simple. Like, like I don't have no, there's, we can't, you can't be like, oh, we all in, we sold into the program, and then your kid don't play, and now you, oh, man, my kid better than the other kid. This ain't, this ain't the park. <laughs> hey, so, so James, and, and James, just to answer what you're saying, you're saying you can't, you can't help the kids that they're writing, but think about it, bro. You think you got an 85 man roster with 75 rotten kids? You know what I'm saying? That don't add up. You know, we got to, it just, that, that don't add up to think that 80% of your roster, 90%, whatever it is, is just rotten kids. You get what I'm saying? My whole receiver room ain't going to be full of guys that don't want to work. I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I've never seen that in my life. You know what I'm saying? So it don't, it don't really add up. Who's who's yeah. the person that come to the podium? Who's the person that come to the podium and be like, "Oh no, nah, we we as coaches we fucked up last week real bad. I think we I think we ran them too hard." Who's the person that say that? You're never gonna get that perspective. No, you never get that. Never get that. Well, no. here's another one. Here's another one. We we talked about this early in the season, man. We we saw Gil sit there and get no playing time, and people and I. We heard on the space, oh, Gil, he, you know, he kind of a tweener. He too slow to be a corner, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, but he came in the game and makes plays. You got people that are in the game over him that's not making plays. They said Gil wasn't physical enough, um, wasn't athletic enough to do what they were trying to get him to do. Somebody in the space made a point when they said – uh I think they in, couldn't figure out where to put Gil. But in comparison to who? In comparison to himself. Right. 
But, and, but okay. that's the thing. So I'm I'm, I'm the only Gill on the team. I'm the only right. Gill on the team. Why is Jafari Harvey playing my spot? That doesn't add up. It don't add up. And just like Let, I told you, man, you just gotta you just gotta answer me one question. You telling me Corey Flag on third long was a better option than Gill? You telling me against Florida State to Corey Couch was a better option than Gill? Nothing against either one of those guys, but you're asking them to do things that they're not physically, you know, equipped to do at a high level, right? So you're telling, you're telling me telling you what I was talking yeah. about. They say he was too stiff. I hear you. And they say he wasn't physical enough. So I think they tried to make him like a star or a linebacker. Um yeah, that's that's what that's what the word was. So why did it work with many? Um, um that's what I gotta get that's what I gotta get some straight right. on. Why was many why so, was many able to use him as a striker? So who was who's more physical? Gill or Al Blades? I'll wait. <laughs> you don't think Al Blades physical? Yeah, so, not more than Gill. <laughs> but that they, they was asking Gill to they're not the same, the same, they're not the same position though, right? They had done bought Gill up. I thought he was gonna be a damn linebacker. I mean, again, yeah, they did the same thing with mm-hmm. Keontra Smith, right? Well, Manny started that. Manny did that. <laughs> yeah, that's what. But that's what I was told. That's what I was told. I, I was told it was hard to find out where to play because it's, it's like he's not fast enough to cover this guy, or he's not. You know what I'm saying? He's not. And and well, just think about who was on the field. Who who's always on the field? Flag, right? Mm-hmm. Um, who was the star most of the time? Kyle, Flag it's a nickel. It's a nickel spot. Mm-mm, it's Flag a nickel is, spot. So it's so Kyle. just three three cornerbacks. Yeah. And I think they felt, bro. I I I I seen Gil work out with Trajan Bandy this summer, right? Mm-hmm. And we all saw the video in high school when that boy. Ran that route on him and he flipped. Um, I think he, I think he always had a problem with his feet and his hips. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. It's like he doesn't move like that. Is that he doesn't move like that well? I even saw it when they were working out. I think the legs make way- him be more athletic. Right. Blades is a smaller frame guy. Yes, he's he's going to be more fluid when it comes to getting out of breaks. But when it comes to IQ in football, it, it, they're on two different sheet the two different sheets of music completely. Is a Maddie finna come in here looking like he in he in inmate 1763. <laughs> 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 and make one seven six five six four. So, but so I got I gotta ask like so how was how was how was two years ago Gil playing striker and the way we used our strikers we let them couple slot receivers which I always thought was stupid but we mm-hmm. kept them out there and they covered and Gil rated out as one of our best players on the defense. Did he? So how does all of us? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. So how does all of a sudden like we know what happened to him the next year. You know, that was Manny and his seniority stupid stupidity, right? right. But Ma- uh, Gil was one of the first kids. We thought Gil was leaving. There, there was rumors of Gil leaving. Gil, Gil, did Gil get the very first NIL deal? He got one of the first NIL deals from we. Well, yeah, so, but he's a value in this man. No, friend, he was friends. He's friends with the family. <laughs> oh, with, Ru- with Ruiz's family? Uh-huh. Friends with the oh, son. Oh, okay. Well, my bad. He's real good friends with the oh. son. Yeah. <laughs> So so my problem, is boy, not fair still. at all. <laughs> Nothing so fair about it. Bad on that, but the problem is, but still, Gil, yeah, Rich. Ante, we're gonna see those two guys make it to the league. This always happens, and and don't get me wrong, I do feel like they needed to jump in the portal and and find their next destination. I feel that that they definitely needed to, mm-hmm. but. It's mm-hmm. gonna be a little bit, bit bittersweet when you know they they become four, five, six year NFL players, and for some reason they couldn't 
they was whatever yeah. whatever asterisk you want to put next to their name. They was that. You think he'll go to the mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, I think it just depends on what they do, where they go. Uh, I'm going to be ecstatic for those guys. You know, I'm going to be ecstatic for a lot of these guys if they go somewhere and they ball out, man. Um, but it's definitely, especially those two, especially Gil. Like, you got a guy that's not playing. This is the only guy that's out there cheering and all this shit from the sideline. We getting our heads blown off. And it's just like, bro, this is the only – well, we got two pick sixes this year. One from Cam and one from Gil. Ain't nobody else got one. Like, how did he get in the Bethune game, but he can't get in no more games? You can't just say, oh, it was Bethune. Obviously, you found a package for him some kind of way. And all of a sudden, he can't play, but you can run through all these. Not that he should have lined up at linebacker, but you can run through. You ran through every linebacker on your roster except for Avery Huff. And you tell him you can't find time to get this ball on the field? Him? Like, yeah. Whatever, bro. Uh, those things don't add up to me. Remember, he, yeah. He was good at blitzing off the edge, too. Remember, he did it in the spring game and he did it early in the season this year. No, no, that's I think that's what happened. I mean, what, what, what up, so discussing Gil. I'm going to be sound like. No, nah, we just. We just no, nah, we just talking about um, just guys kind of just like. Um, you know, we're talking about guys not wanting to play or how do you, how are you deciphering that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And like we talked about in the space, you know, some guys, think about it. Like, we thought a lot of these guys were going to hit the transfer portal when Mario came and all that stuff. And all them kids stayed. I'm like, okay, they want to work. So, you got to think, those kids bought in early. But then when you, like a guy like Gil, because we do know, like, there's a mix. There are some kids that just don't, probably don't want to work or bad attitudes or whatever. But you got kids like Gil that, clearly bought in, you know what I'm saying, stuck around, was a team team guy and all this kind of stuff, and can't, can't find the field. It's not like he can't play. It ain't like we talking about, you know, no disrespect, a guy like Ragone that's not very athletic, but it's like, oh, you know, team guy, hard worker, da 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 No, Gil can actually play the game of football. He's athletic enough. Right. And I bought in, and I did what you asked, and y'all, but y'all can't find a package for me? Like, that doesn't – and I I just don't understand what what the difference is between a Gill in terms of that thought process and a Corey Flag who who played all the time. Gill, in my opinion, wasn't physical enough to uh, deal with the linemen getting to the next level and putting their hands on him. He wasn't shedding that block, so he's too small to play linebacker, in my opinion. He's not, he, he not a linebacker. I know. And the striker thing was kind of like a, how you say, I don't want to call it gimmicky, but I can't think of a better word right now, where you kind of put people on there to kind of spread out for that three receiver look, but Gil's not fast enough to hang with most slot receivers in college football. So How did he do it under Manny? I'm not saying he is yeah. fast enough, but I'm just saying how how did how did that work under Manny? You got to remember, man, that Manny defense had almost zero thought to it. It was just a lineup and go. Like there was no actual cerebral thought process behind his defense. It was just just go. We've heard Shaq. I've heard Shaq's dad talk about it. It's like it, it didn't really have a a plan. It just kind of. I can't even describe it from being honest. The way he said it, it was it was just one of those things where guys yeah, just line up and go. And that's why you see sometimes <laughs> when a when a bus happened, a bus happened, like and then you get people get mad, it's like, oh, so and so missed the assignment. But in reality, there wasn't any assignment. A lot of it was ball on both sides of the ball was thoughtless football. You know what I'm saying? Offense is like, hey, say a color, that's the play we running. Bet. I know on this color or this call, this is what I'm running as a receiver. This is what I'm doing as a tight end. This is what I'm doing. So things like, you know, Mallory's inability to block kind of got looked over. Same thing with, with defense. It was like, oh, God. Just, just go get him. Go get the quarterback. Go blitz. Go rush. And I, I don't think that stuff really put into perspective. More talented players can make that defense look better. Hence where he has at Penn State. 
But when he had to recruit his own class and we saw most of his guys there, we started seeing the immense drop off from when the shack, you know, and a pick me was there. Dog, somebody told me that that many what you just said, many, many, in order for many defense work, you gotta have a bunch of talent out there. Damn, who told me that? Oh, somebody told me that. Go ahead. But that still don't that's that, that but that still don't that still don't explain that still don't explain why Gill was able to prosper under that because we did use our strikers as cover guys. They covered a lot. I thought it was stupid. But our strikers covered nickels. Uh, I mean, I mean um, slot receivers all the time. It wasn't like they was lining up their striker and just blitzing and just stop. Those guys were in coverage. Way too much for my taste. And Gil still graded out as one of the highest guys on our defense, bro. So how does he go from being able to not being able to see the field? Right. That's how you hit a bitch. (laughs) 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 That's how you hit him up. Goddamn Cam Kitchen. I don't know, bro. I'm looking at this highlight tape right now. I'm gonna try to post it up in here. Wholesome Harlem, wholesome Holloway highlight tape. Um, he was playing. <laughs> you were right. He was out there. I'm looking at the stats now. Forty-one total tackles, twenty-four solo, seventeen assisted, one sack, and nothing else in 2021. 2022, two solo. Three total, one assisted, one interception for 32 yards, one touchdown. Yeah, 41 tackles in 2021? Yeah, yeah 41 was, tackles in 20. That, he didn't even start. 41 yeah. total, 24 solo. That's a assisted. lot for a guy that didn't start. Our leading tackler this year is Cam, and he had like 58 or 59 tackles total. That's crazy, bro. I didn't even that know that. Be, yeah, forty-one. That shouldn't be happening. Ideally, it, sh- it should not be. <laughs> I mean, at all, man. When the leading tackles is two DBs, I know we were kind of. Remember, remember how ex- crazy it was when we Boba Bolden led us in tackling, and, I, and we was like, "Damn, where are linebackers at?" <laughs> That's why they can't get back there and help Tyreek. <laughs> they too busy. <laughs> they too busy to pulling double duty. Well, man, I say this, Wesley. <laughs> hmm? Wesley next, man. The twenty-one solo tackles and nine assisted as a linebacker. And how many and then, games did he play? Five. Yeah, uh, six. Twenty-one Damn. solo. Nope, five. Pick, Clemson, Georgia. Tech. FSU, and UVA. Yeah, 21 solo. Mm-hmm. Nine assisted. So he was just chilling on the bench for over half the year. Crazy. <laughs> Corey Flag, 56 total, 34 solo, 22 assisted, two and a half sacks, one pass deflection in 22. In 21, he had 60 total, 35 solo, 25 assisted, three sacks, one interception. So he basically did the same shit the last two years. If flag flagship, if I, I not that I wish, but flag somewhere in the Big Ten with a coach that believed in him, flag would be nice. Not saying that he'd be any better of a player, but he has some shit. He has some crazy ass numbers and shit. I think personally. What do you think that? They because they run over there. the box. Yeah. Right, he'd be in the box playing Wisconsin, racking up thirteen tackles and shit like that. <laughs> right, yeah. You kind of sleep on Caleb too. Caleb had a decent year too. Who? Yeah. yeah. I, I see. I like Caleb. I hate too many niggas put some moves on Caleb. People. <laughs> 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 Caleb go to that ground, Benny, dog. But I like him, Benny. <laughs> oh, boy. I do. Because he, he can move. Yeah, he will. But he can move. He, he moves, though. Mm-hmm. I like him. Yeah, 2020 was his best year, in my opinion. 
uh, 44 total, 22 solo, 22 assisted, five and a half sacks, one fumble recovery, one interception. 21, he had 45 total, 28 solo, 17 assisted, one pick. And then this year he had 48, 26, 22, a sack and a half, and two fumble, or two forced fumbles. So. Wait, wait, wait. Mr. Wills, Mr. Wills said flag should have been a strong safety in the 90s. Look, bro, you strong safeties wasn't – they was much faster and much better than that, bro. Like, you might be maybe back in the 60s or something, but, bro, don't do that now. Strong, strong safety in the 90s? Like who? Yeah. It wasn't crazy. Like, uh, ooh, uh, uh, in the 90s, we had it was Sean Wooden. Uh, oh, you know I'm going to go with the Dolphins players. We had Sean Wooden. Dawkins, there are um, Dawkins, yeah. Dawkins from Philly. He was a safety. He was playing free safety. He was playing free. He was playing free. Um, that what Lewis Oliver was a strong safety, right? Was he? I think so. The... That was a sign of a linebacker. John Lynch. Lynch. Yeah. Yeah. Now, nah, flag would have been no. Nah, you. I think you. You confusing. Um. You're confusing how unathletic uh you think your safeties are. Not in the 90s, the boys could still move. What was the what was the white linebacker that Miami had that yeah, was Morgan. really really smart? No, Miami Dolphins. Oh, Zach Thomas. Um, Jason Taylor's stepbrother. How Zach fast Thomas. was he? Not fast at all. Uh, not that fast, but he was probably he more is- athletic than he we give him credit for. He was always so? around the play all the time. Mm-hmm. He could and get he was, there. He, yeah, he could cover. And he was five foot nine and like halfway deaf. Mm-hmm. I think he was like deaf in one ear or something like that. Yeah. That was a piece. Mm-hmm. I, I never heard anything about him being deaf. Yeah. I know he knew the game. I mean, I know he knew completely knew the game. Yeah, he um, was a student. That was like a beast. Street. That needs to be in the Hall of Fame, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that he don't even get considered, right? He does. He's he been up. He's been up. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's been yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, he was but up last he year. Didn't get in. I think for the first time, man. I think this year is his second time going up. If 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 he if he played for like if if he had played his if he had did the same numbers and played for like the Patriots. Same numbers playing for the Bears with their you know history of linebackers, he'd be in, right? Sometimes it's like that, bro. First round ballot. First ballot, Hall of Famer. And he got picked, like Zach got pick sixes and everything, bro. It wasn't just like he was just running to the hole because he knew where the play was gonna be. Like, no, bro, like he got pick sixes. He used to kill Peyton Manning. And like you know, Peyton get up there with all them calls and signals, and him and Zach would be going at it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Hmm. This is this is Don Chaney. I don't look like him. He look bigger. He can't be. Yeah, he looks full. It's not Tyreek, is it? No, that ain't Reek. Oh, that's not Reek. You got the wrong hoodie on. Who is this? <laughs> Yeah, that's Cheney, man. Stop playing. That's Cheney. He look, he look two twenty five in the in in this right here, two twenty five, two thirty. It yeah. is Cheney, huh? He grew his hair like got... a house, bro. Huh? Boy, look like a house, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you remember he blowed up last year? And he slimmed down when when um when the new regime got here. That is mm-hmm. Cheney, huh? Yeah. Man, I hope to God he he stays healthy he stay for the season. Yeah, me too, bro. Hey, uh, uh, uh Streeter. So yeah. I saw um uh, Mick Laughlin name on the list. Did he transfer out already? Unless he snuck out like your boy did. Because they had <laughs> somebody had it scratched off. I was like, did he leave? I don't know why he would leave. Like he's always been a project. His name scratched off on the portal list. His name scratched off on the portal list. Yeah, it is. Yeah, his name scratched off. I was like, yep. You know, maybe it was a mistake or something. I don't think he left yet, but I, 
Mm-mm, I don't think he left that. Hmm. One guy who didn't make any space. noise. One dude who ain't make no noise is uh the third or fourth string quarterback, Peyton Matoka. I didn't I even know he was still here. Yeah, I remember seeing this film out of high school, and I'm like, why the hell are they getting this guy? Really? Damn, that was harsh. Yeah, it was, uh, once again, another main deal special. Sonny was. I got to take a quarterback. She's grabbing between him and Ryan Risk, but Ryan Risk left. Yep. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we had many choices, many options, bro. We just managed, we just managed the roster up. Um, what y'all looking at? That this right here is this another video that's gonna get dropped in the member section. It's like a cinematic version of what we do on game day. Um, bunch of cool stuff. Yeah, what y'all did with the uh the pit experience, and then y'all had let the intro ride. That- Oh, dope, that was dope. <laughs> you like that? That was. That was. Yeah, that was dope. That was dope. I that's, thought it was because it wasn't much of an experience. What'd you say, man? I thought it was because it wasn't much of an experience. I know that. We had a fine intro, though, man. Oh, uh, update day. I mean, we, we found my brother. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, all right. Ah, uh, we found him. He was in Tootsie's. Mm. No, nah, he was in Knoxville, Tennessee. Mm. Um, yeah, we found him. Just gotta. I mean, he he's safe for the most part. Okay. He did. That's what matter. Did they locate the truck? No. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. we found him, man. We still don't. I still don't know much, though, man. It's, it, it's a little deep. We'll talk about it. All right. Well, you know, thank God he found and safe at least. You know. Yeah. Yeah. We got a lot of those rich. A lot of what? A lot of Manny specials. Yeah, see, but back to back to what Cal was saying was like, how 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 do they get? For it's eleven people on the field in football, bro, and then it's eleven more that come in on offense. Um, it's the reason why y'all do exercise together, y'all clap together, and y'all do all that stuff together. It's the reason why they do team building. It's the reason why they do all that stuff, dog. Be, be, because if you don't have it, if you if you because if you don't have it. It's like your car engine. Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? The one thing break, all of it, the car don't move. Who care what, how small it is? The pump, the water pump. I don't care what it is. Mm-hmm. Or it may crank and, and can't go and drive. Or it may, you know what I'm saying? It may, it may drive, but can't drive long. Mm-hmm. The reason it looked like that is, be, is because if you don't get them to buy in, and and you actually do the opposite. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stop breaking relationships. That's what you see. But the best way the fan the best way the fans can sum it up is is men or boys don't want to play. All right. Nah, nah, it's it's in it's in it's, it's the boss that's, that's supposed to get their morale. It's boss that's supposed to get them to buy in. Yeah, they um, did a lot of they did a lot of plan to get a scholarship. Mm-hmm. And you and you still yeah, out there, not like, out. man. Football is not a football is not an easy game, though. Like so, to go out there just half fasting it or just going through the motions that ain't that ain't that ain't it. That ain't gonna happen, dog. That's a lot of work you got to put in in practice and. No, nah, dog. It's too much work. Yeah, it's it's the only. I think it's one of the only sports. May correct me if I'm wrong, but it's one of the few sports where you practice way more than you play. I mean, way more than you play. And mm-hmm. 
just like you mentioned with some college uh, conferences, every single game is an audition for the next game, is an audition for the playoffs, whether you're going to get in or, or not play for a national championship. So it's high stakes, and it, all you do is practice year round. Five days, you practice five days for one. Yep. Yeah, man. I mean, so, 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 so the best play, like I said, I remember David Chappelle saying when it was like, man, you, you went crazy, or Martin went crazy, or Mariah Carey went crazy. And he said, man, crazy is just a dismissive term when you, when you can't explain what you're looking at. So you just dismiss it with crazy. When people are crazy, man, they lazy. They don't want, they don't want to play no football. That's, that's what they, it's dismissive when they don't understand like what's going on. Now, that last game, that last game, a lot of players felt like they were beat up. They were spent. They they, they wanted to go home. <laughs> they did. Yeah. Yeah, um, and I hate to point it out, you know, but even when you look at how James was kind of acting on the field, what he was feeling inside was coming out. Mm-hmm. Because we all know he's better than that. We all know that he's a better player than that. But yeah, he frustrated. Out. You see it on his Instagram, he frustrated, man. I, 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 mm-hmm. I, I've I, been reaching out to him, man. You can see he's frustrated. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to, to Marvin because I think he'd be at Marvin House sometime. But you can see that he's frustrated. The stuff that he's posting. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. the fans is. I mean, I think that stuff is getting to him. I, I want him um, to cut that shit off. I want him to cut the Instagram. Just cut it off, bro. Because these fans, dog, you just not gonna. There's no logic coming out of these people's mouths, bro. You have to cut that <laughs> stuff off. For real, you know, bro. you know, what's, you know what really sucks though is that social media is a double-edged sword because the shit can make you sa- famous, but the shit can make you go insane as well. Honestly, how does Najali Kelly Mama do it? How does she do it? Mm-hmm. How how does Lavar Ball do? How did Lavar Ball do it? Um, right, right. That's another one. Like, like, how does she sit there and say whatever she want to say? She back Mario. She how does she do it? She's and I know her. I know her personally. I mean, we became pretty close um last couple of months. So I under I know why she do it, but I'm just saying, like you see two different ends of the spectrum. You see Keyshawn Smith mama that says something like, Oh my god, that stove got hot, and then she runs off Twitter and it's like, I ain't getting back on there. <laughs> and well, then you I'm got Nigel Kelly mom wake up every morning with with what's the word? Do you wake up with what do they say you wake up with Me. uh <laughs> huh? joy? No, not joy. <laughs> she wake up with uh malice, you know what I'm saying? It's like uh, every morning. Mm. And she don't, and she don't flinch. Like, but I think I, I'm glad you mentioned you. You gave that comparison because you summed it up. Like, I don't think, I think one one parent is really looking out for the well being of their child, mm-hmm. despite football. Like, football is just a thing that they do. You feel me? Where in whereas I think. Najalik's mom is like, I done been to practice before. I kind of, I know how this shit goes. You like, it's different. So my she son into like, sports can't. too. Yeah, she's in the sports. So Najalik can't come to her and be like, Coach yelled at me, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> he can't. No, he cannot. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> no, he cannot. Uh, that's true. Is this yeah, thing not tracking all two thousand ple- people? <laughs> yes, it is, and we're gonna talk mm-hmm. about it every day. That's crazy. This shit. right here, it was four hundred people in the space tonight, dog. And I hit up two and I was like, dog, it was four hundred people. I, what am I not understanding? The season is over. Hmm. But I but think you know they won't. This transfer portal, dog. dog. <laughs> you know, made it recruiting on steroids. Mm-hmm. Man, 
kids got to be looking at this in high school too. Like, damn, because you know you're gonna get that call from whatever university. They're gonna be like, look, man, we got 15 spots left for for kids in high school. You're like, but you said last month you had 30. <laughs> <laughs> Shit went down. <laughs> I told you. I've been talking about that for the longest, man. Even with that long as I used to talk about that. And y'all remember? I was like, free agency is mm-hmm. here and recruiting kids may we got another DJ Williams, huh? Nah, Street, you know, you said something that extremely like poignant. Full man. Force. Huh. Street, you, you said something extremely poignant the other day when um when Tay left. He was like, basically, I think these kids got hopefully these kids realize before they mm-hmm. go. You not three star, four star, five star out of such and such high school. Your value ain't like that no more. Unless you're one of them guys that don't win and done it like an Addison and you're just looking for a different opportunity or some money. But most of y'all are not. Y'all looking for your first opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Or your second opportunity. But you ain't this. It's just like the draft. It's just like the NFL draft. Think about it. Like, uh, a guy can make the Pro Bowl three years in a row. He'll still never be as valuable as a first-round pick. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you have guys right. that will be like a Tyreek Hill, right? But you could be a top-flight receiver and make the Pro Bowl three, four, five years in a row. Nobody will trade the number one overall pick for you because there's too much hope and too much potential in that pick. So these kids got to understand you're no longer hope and potential. Your body, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're, all right, maybe we can do something. Maybe you can't. But when you come out of high school, they stoked. They like, yeah, man, we probably can. This dude looks like another uh, Juju Smith-Schuster. Or whoop, 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 whoop. Man, that value is gone, bro. You'll never mm-hmm. you'll never be as valuable again. And I don't think a lot of them understand that. But you could, Cal. If Tay goes to FIU, right? Mm-hmm. He ain't going there. Value just shot right up. For that team, yes. Well, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is when they jumping in the portal, like I don't want them thinking, you know, I don't, they're thinking, man, like school's probably going to be knocking down my door. Yeah, they probably is, but it's probably going to be FIU, FAU, such and such and such. Not that that's a horrible thing or a bad thing, but I'm just yeah. saying I don't want, like, you can't go in there with the mindset that, that's man, sad. Michigan like wanted they, me, yeah. man. Or they, they go in there still thinking now, it was two years ago. Yeah, if they go in there still right. thinking, boy, oh, <laughs> I hit this portal, my phone gonna start ringing off the hook. <laughs> and it might, he may have a few suitors. You know what I'm saying? He is Tay, five star Tay. He may have a few suitors. Mm-hmm. Um, no, Tay will. Tay will, Tay but will. I don't know. I'm just saying, like a lot of them. Yeah, but mm-hmm. a lot of them, that's not gonna happen, bro. Give me, uh, like somebody that was highly recruited who got just devalued. Um, what Probably, you, what maybe that. that? Yeah, uh, yeah. I told that. I told that that was a that was. I was like, man, that was a bad look back because we didn't have no backs. Yeah, we we didn't have anybody, and we talking about not playing. Mm-hmm. Same thing with who I always bring up. Same thing with Huff. This was a game you might have got in and played because we had nobody. Everybody was gone. You just hang in there, bro. You ain't got no reason to jump early. What you gonna say? All the spots gonna be gone, bro. Ain't nobody finna be knocking on your door. You definitely gonna have to get in where you fit in because you ain't got no tape. You should have stuck this out to the end and tried to play, bro. And I can say that for a lot of them kids, bro. And I talked to Huff, man. Huff, Huff really believes in himself too, bro. He, he really sees himself. I got a problem as, with that. Mm-hmm. He really believes that. I, I, that's the that's that's. I don't know, dog. It's a disconnect somewhere. What you mean? It's, it's, what you mean? He, he got to look at it. He looking at it from the wrong way. You got to look at it from a business aspect, and you got to look at it from the other side. Like, yeah, you may believe in yourself, and that's great. I want you to, but tape don't lie, and you ain't got none. So ain't nobody finna be saying like, you know, it's a million Avery Hubs out there. A combination of size and speed. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But what I'm going after you for, bro? You ain't playing on a roster that's really hurting for linebackers. Like, what am I? What am I coming after you for? 
you got to think about that sometimes, dog. Now, if you went out there and put it in the tape and all that kind of stuff, you know, that'd, that'd be a different story. But <sighs> a lot of these dudes ain't getting out the portal. Right. A lot of them will not. I think they can, but they're going to have to humble themselves because those little stars that they got under their names is not going to uh, resonate the way they think it will. Mm-hmm. I was talking about it earlier. Stars kid. ain't there no more, man. <laughs> they, 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 give, they give them some. They give them like their transfer value. But, so they um, give them some? There, there's going to be a lot of guys. There's going to be a lot of guys. Like There's a couple of Bama receivers who left. I think I put the stats in there. Buddy had like in two years like – 12 yards receiving, like, dog. The fact that you went to Bama ain't going, he an Orlando native. If you see Christian Leary. Calling, yep. Christian if, Leary. If USF come calling, you ask him. Yeah, but if USF come calling, you see if you can take that shit. Christian Leary had that game against St. Thomas, and um, that kind of put him on the map. Um, then he came back and had that bad game. That state championship game? I don't know what was going on with him. Well, he looked like he didn't know how to play football. I don't know what that was about. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I guess it didn't work out for him up there. Did any of our guys jump? Did the other guy jump in? Dayu, Joan Bell? Where is he? That's a good question. But I will say this about Christian Leary, though. I, I feel as if... Out of all those guys that was up there, Jai Hall, Thayu Jones Bell, Christian Leary, go look at Christian Leary in the spring for Alabama, both seasons. He did what the hell he was supposed to do. Yeah, he was playing. He actually got yeah. in there as a running back. Um, he was playing like a year ago. Um, you keep Brown, I think he's home. You, you keep this, he entered the portal? Yeah, I don't think he entered the portal, but I was standing next to him Friday night. Mm-hmm. And the team oh, was in God. Louisiana because we know they upset him. I mean, the team was in College Station. And I was talking to him. And, and we had a real conversation, man. We, we did. He, I was surprised. Um, he was honest with me. He was just like, man, you know when things ain't going your way. You, you kind of revert back to who you were. Mm. I couldn't do nothing but put my arm around him, dog. <laughs> I couldn't. Because I, I just told him I understand. They think they got a new offensive coordinator. And they uh, something like the new wide receiver coach. They just fired the offensive coordinator, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, did they? Hot garbage. Oh. Kenny had got a new wide receiver coach. I yeah, thought Jimbo like was the offensive coordinator. Well, I know, right? And I, your boy was the assistant. Coley. Who did they just fire? Let's see. Yeah, Coley the assistant. Let me see. Texas and um. So you know, you see the guy that recruiting Bain at Auburn. They said they're going to let him go. Brian Hartline is going to be the mm-hmm. head coach of what Cincinnati, right? Looking, it's looking like. I know. It. I know the interview on that. I'm happy. I hope so. Goodness, I'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Texas football Wait. fires OC Daryl Dickey. Daryl Dickey was the OC. Texas and m football mm-hmm. fires OC Daryl Dickey after five seasons with Jimbo Fisher. Jimbo, Jimbo just Blake Baker, that man. He did. That was a good one, Street. He damn so did. <laughs> he just Blake Baker. He brought us up another year. <laughs> Hey, look at the name you got on the screen. Let's just say Ote Baker. <laughs> <laughs> Jimbo, Jimbo came in there and said, I got 90 million reasons why you need to be fired and not me. <laughs> he just Hey, Manny texted him a high five emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mentioned Jeff Sims' name tonight, man. Jeff Sims, Jeff Sims ain't a, ain't a take, man. The boys ain't like Jeff Sims, Rich. We 
it's hard because how much how much eligibility he got left and can we do we have time to develop him? That's 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 the issue. Like you gotta go to a he has to go to a school where they they'll they'll have the time and the resources in order to develop him. Um so what grade that, is I he? Think, what what class is he, Rich? I think he ha- might have like two or three years left because mm. I think he started his freshman year and sophomore year, but you get that COVID year back. So if that's the case, then he has two years left of eligibility. Mm. We just need a placeholder. If TBD leaves, we just need a placeholder for like a year or two. If Gaddis stays like the dude who just oh, went in the portal from Michigan, he knows that o- yeah. the offense, you know. So, who McNamara? Yeah. Cade? Mm-hmm. See, can Cade McNamara play? I remember where did I know the name from? Why the name resonates in my head? So, it was a battle between him and the starter now at Michigan. He that, that he could play. Um, the one who won it from the yeah. IMG. Yeah, he can play. He can play. That's why he won it. <laughs> but what we think about <laughs> Trey Sanders, man? I'm gonna ask about Trey Sanders tomorrow. Big Trey. Wait. So what is what is what is uh U Key Street? What class is he? You've been there, there for two years, right? Yeah, he got two years left, bro. Yeah, I don't think he retroed Hey, Street, is there like a uh, postseason press conference they about to do for y'all? I would assume no, but. They ain't did it yet. And I see he sat down with Don Bailey Jr. They usually do it maybe next week. You mm-hmm. can talk to the AD and stuff. But I see. Yeah, I saw, saw Radicovic talk, talk to somebody. Somebody has some quotes from him. Yeah. Mm hmm. I see he talked to Don Bailey Jr. Um, I think tonight. Hmm. So, uh, with you, I want to get back to you, Keith. Like, what? what? Hmm. It's just, it's just like when I see these kids like not there anymore, or leaving, or transferring, or looking like they're gonna try. I be like, what? Man, y'all, y'all, y'all be having some nice opportunities, bro. I know it ain't all perfect, ain't all peaches and cream, but mm-hmm. ah, you don't want to just stick it out, tough it out. Like that's a nice program yet, there, fella. Could you imagine? Uh. Could you imagine having a chick since elementary school, right? Mm. Start giving up to you in junior high school, and you getting it in junior high, you getting it in senior high, right? And then she say, "You got to wait two years." <laughs> <laughs> right. That, that's the best way I can make y'all understand it. Like, I, I, I get and, it, and, but... and on top of that, you starting to see fellas who got just as much clout and as much game as you do. So you like, damn, it's a matter of time and she done told me to wait. Come mm-hmm. on, man. I ain't got or that she, type of time. Okay. Or she give it to you once a year. Now it's going on the third year. I hear it, but what's my alternative? What if I what if I was batting above my lead? You know what I'm saying? What if I ain't the best looking fella in the world? I ain't got no money. I, ain't, I, I don't think they think about the alternative. I think they just think about I gotta wait two years. Fuck that. I think they get past the, they did get to the FU. Does it, man? Fuck, fuck that. Yeah, fuck. right. Part, part yeah. of it too, though, is when you look at A and M and how dysfunctional they were on offense. They couldn't find ways to get him on the field, and that's their fault. So it's once again a program failing the kids that they got there. I, if I was a U Keith Brown. I would look at who's going to be a new head coach somewhere and or, or any of the Christian Leary too, like Brian Hartline's going to Cincinnati. Hey, let's go. Up, let's go up there and let's ball out. 
especially year one, you know, under Brian Harper. Yeah, that's a good we one. Know, right? Yeah, a bunch of guys going to leave. He's a receiver guru. I know I'm going to go up there and eat. Let's make a business decision, go up there and eat for one year and go to the league. I would bet the farm on you, Keith Brown. He said, yeah. you, ain't, ain't you, Keith Brown, get in trouble, though? Even after he got in trouble, he won. Remember, he scored that touchdown in the first game this year. Right, so he, so he was playing him still, right? Mm-hmm. I, I, what I would, I would do, bet the phone this is what, you, dog. This is what I would tell the kids, all of them. Before you decide to do anything, I don't care what your emotions tell you to do. Hit, hit those backdoor channels first before you make a decision. Let me see what's out there. If I have a landing spot, if you don't, you sit your dumb ass down. And you make this shit work the best way you can. You you it, it's too many back channels out there. The same way you want you was once a four star and somebody was leaving McDonald's bags on your uh front door. You can find out if you have a landing spot somewhere that's nice and soft. Mm-hmm. You understand? Do that. Like I just we gotta use our resources, man. You have to, bro. I think a lot of times they just get for I seen it. I was I was assisting this boy one time. I was assisting this boy one time, man. I said, dog, the same thing you just said. Do not move until you know where you're going. I don't care how bad it seems. You know what I'm saying? Don't move till you know mm-hmm. where you're going. Two days later, he says, "Tree, I'm in the portal." I had to meet with coach, and coach didn't have any answers for him, dog. You say coach didn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the way he heard it was just like Coach was just saying, like, listen, you ain't better than Tyrone. You ain't better than blah, blah, blah. They get COVID years. They coming back. It may be the same thing next year. And he just got in them. He just, yeah, he just jumped in. See, DeMarcus mm-hmm. Bowman, a three-star. He's a three-star now? Yeah. He was like a 10-star <laughs> coming out of high school, man. I never believed, dog. I, I didn't think that as good as that St. Thomas game. He, he's another one got rich off. I saw him play in person versus against Hylia when Hylia had uh, CJ and all those young kids. They were freshmen. He had three touchdowns. But, dog, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. And I came back and I said it. I didn't see. I told you that, Rich, too, right? And you was like, Ugh. Yeah, you did. You did. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was. I was. But, but here's why, though. Here's why. Because I was like, I saw what he did when he went up to Clemson. When he went up to Clemson, I think Will Shipley was there. Will Shipley was not about to start over DeMarcus Bowman. And look at what Will Shipley's doing. Travis Etienne knighted this guy the next, like the 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 next starter. He was like, man, I don't seen the fastest kid I ever saw a running back. And I don't know what went on at Clemson or what he was thinking. But, mm, what happened at Florida? <laughs> right. Uh, that, and that's on him. That's, you know, the, it the kid like, needing guidance. It sounds like, because this seemed to be a recurring thing that happens at the University of Florida. Because when you sitting there describing him, all I hear is, uh, oh, boy, that left us. Avante's Lingard. cousin. Yeah, Lorenzo Lingard. Like it sounds like the same yeah. exact shit again. Like same, same shit. So same I, thing. I, I don't know how a running back can hear that and be like, you know what? I'll definitely sign up for a Billy Napier, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, we hear from Lingard since. Y'all think it was the injury that did Lingard in? Or? Lingard head. And they used to always just be like it's his head. Mm. Like I think Lingard, Lingard at heart. Kind of like the same thing Amar Richards' brother suffered from. Like, mm. like I remember, I remember him cussing in the huddle in one of the games, and I was recording him, and he was like, "Hey man, I curse, man. Um, you could take that out for me." It's like, no. <laughs> like, what you mean? <laughs> they all curse, but he was that was kind of his thought process. Like um, Lingard, I think at heart was just a good guy. Um. Mm. Not sure how much he believed. 
I'm not. I'm from Miami. I don't know how people outside of Miami look at Miami. Like, if you're from Orlando, or if you're from, you know what I'm saying, and you look down and that's the city. I think sometimes a lot of kids see it see it as, man, that's the city. You know what I'm saying? Like, they see it different. But it's not only that, though. Like, Lingard came from Orange City. You know where Orange City is? That's the country, man. That's like, you're not even in. That's like the outskirts of Orlando. They like, huh. they like have flower farms out there. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah, and <laughs> and that's why he mentioned like I've been coached by the same coaches all my life because it's a small population out there. Damn, I didn't I didn't think about that. Mm. I didn't think about he did say that because you got you got Orlando Orlando proper where CJ backed is from. Like CJ is from the city. He's a city boy, right? But Lingard is not a just like uh what's his name? Warren Sapp is always like, Yeah, I'm I'm from Orlando, but I'm 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 a country boy. Cause when you go out to a popka, that's the country. What do Same we call Belgrade's kids though? What do we call yeah. Belgrade's kids? Oh they, that's the but, country, man. I think <laughs> but the boys get it though. See, but that's but but okay, they okay, hell. okay, but no, I think see, and that's what I'm saying. I, I think it's the fabric, it's the culture, yeah. and Glaze and Pohokee, it's almost like it's 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 the it's it's the bar, it's I don't know, it's the culture, it's the bar being raised. Um, right. I see them boys play football, I don't see them undersized. Uh, versus um Deerfield that night when they had Rooster, and they just they just they just hit you like it's 1986, <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they just play hardcore <laughs> football, dog. It's like yeah, they play they play football. The essence of football, they could be out man, outsmarted, and and they just they 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 gonna strap up and play. Yeah, they just gonna strap up and play hard. And they really believe that's the only way out. They really, they, all of that stuff is still believed. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, they, and they'll walk off the bus with 20 guys. <laughs> and still, and you know, they. Yeah, they just football players. They just play football. They, 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 right. It's kind of like how your youth football coach coached you. It's kind of like the culture of how they play. And every now and then they get a Santonio Holmes. Every now and then they get, you know what I'm saying? They they have Anton Smith. Right. Yeah. But so, it's, a, you yeah, know. it's a different thing, though. It's a, it's a different thing. That's why I talk about the kids. Like we, we talk about, oh man, they don't want it. They don't want it. Bro, they it's whatever they walk into. It's the culture that they walk into. It's whatever your program is when they get there. That's gonna mold and shape who they are. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna tell me. It's, it's like, almost like we just forget. We forget the whole recruiting process. We forget this whole time of us sitting here saying, "I can't wait till the 2023 kids get in here. I can't wait to Robbie and Bobby and, and I can't wait. I can't wait." And then in two years, it's like, man, I'm on a love football, man. What what I mm-hmm. really is? <laughs> <laughs> they lazy. They don't, they they show up to play today. <laughs> right. It's like uh, imagine slow. imagine you imagine you went to the service just as you are. And the only thing they taught you was how to shoot a gun. No culture, no tough, no none of that shit. And they put you out there to go fight for your gun. <laughs> you gonna be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like imagine what kind of soldiers you gonna have. All I'm gonna teach you is how to shoot this gun. But we ain't going through all the things where we feel like we're gonna toughen you up or you know, make you a more disciplined person, and we, we, we kick all that culture stuff out. We just gonna teach you how to shoot this gun, and we want y'all to go win some wars for us. Girl, what kind of squad would you have? So in boot camp, we practice in Marine Corps boot camp. We practice marching more than anything. Hmm. Think about that, dog. Being together, being in unison. Mm-hmm. We practiced marching mm-hmm. more than that was the biggest emphasis. It wasn't about killing nobody. It wasn't about none of that. It was about are y'all in step? Mm-hmm. 
We practice that shit every day, I think. March. You can't leave. You can't leave no man behind either. We ain't practice none of that, Rich. We march, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it I think it had everything to do. And we're talking about dog, like if you if you think about it, it was you've seen the military march before. You know what I'm saying? You've seen how, yeah. how, how Marines look. Yeah, dog. And it, it was just about being in sync and detailed. It was more so about that. Being able to listen under pressure. Um, yeah. Dang. Now think about football. And what we saw was some motherfuckers who did not practice how to march. <laughs> you know what I'm they were just, it was too busy trying to Weed them out. I, I think I, I don't think it was like that at Texas A and M. Texas A and M, we saw a team that fought. Um, we just didn't understand. I, I think we all that night realized that whatever they were trying to get TVD to do, that he couldn't do. But from that point on, when it started going bad, I think it just went bad. And and I think they just started. Doing what they had to do to get players off the roster, and when it, when it was time to, and focusing on twenty twenty three class. Mm-hmm. Mm, what do I think it means? I think it means that Mario will be here a while. If he had the balls to do that, I think it means he'll be here a while. But it's a good thing or a bad thing. Mm-hmm. It's a good thing. Like like you said, I think he's moving slowly because um he has a while to be here. Um obviously he's not moving slow slowly when it comes to the recruiting trail. But um You know, he's kind of taking his time when it comes to adding certain pieces to the puzzle. <laughs> Look at these comments. Dube in, in, in Africa. Are you saying the coaches scuttled, scuttled the ship? Coach James said so many excuses. We had the easiest schedule in Miami history. We went five and seven. Coach James, go back to sleep. You, you're not this, – the level ain't for you, Coach. We on some different shit. <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with no schedule. If I you could have been on our schedule, we'd have been a dog fight, dog. <laughs> Damn shame. <laughs> I've dog. I've never seen a team. Oh my god! Give away and give away so much. Like just give away. Dog, what was the game we kept fumbling in our own red zone, giving them touchdowns? Duke, when everybody was like, ah, oh, Duke quarterback ran oh all over god. us. No, he wasn't. He had sixty yards. Like, like mm. he just kept scoring touchdowns from the 20 because we was giving him the ball. Mm. That was so ugly, boy. No, that, but it that was, first it was drive earlier. last week described everything, though. That first drive last week. Mm-hmm. Well, no, they was responding to it. was an earlier comment somebody had said about us. Um, like, we could have went 10 and 2 and yada, 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 and all that kind of stuff. It, it's true. Um, but. The thing about Mario being here, at the end of the day, it's going to be a good thing because the one thing you cannot stop is his recruiting train. He's going to get the talent in here. Now, can he finish? Can he put the cherry on top? I don't know. But if he can't, it doesn't matter. The pieces will be – it does matter. But the pieces will be in place for whoever can come in and put that cherry on top. He's going he's gonna to build this foundation. I got no doubt in my mind he's going to build this foundation. Uh, can he finish? I, I don't know. I, I no clue. A 10 win Miami team, a nine win Miami team is, is gonna look very enticing to a lot of recruits, though. He just mm-hmm. gotta figure out how to put his staff together. I think he made a lot of mistakes. Quarterback mm-hmm. coach, wide receiver coach, offensive coordinator. You know what I'm saying? I think I think he made some mistakes. Um, and I think Gaddis may have, I think Gaddis is maybe too young of an OC to 
to realize that, damn, my next stop, I need to go with somebody. Uh, I need to take somebody with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, right, right. I think that did hurt him being young. He he, yeah. he should have known to ask. Not that he's not going to say he should have known, but you know, Leon, a more experienced OC would have said, "Well, hey, I got to bring this guy, this guy, and this guy." Lastly, uh, and and his homeboy ran the offense, dog. Mm-hmm. They ran. They ran the offense. They changed the tempo or the team of the practice. Um. And it's hard to do that by yourself. And they ran yeah. it from day one. You know why? Because they knew what they was about, what they were going to do. Mm-hmm. How many people did lastly bring? Two or three? Um, how many hires was Lashley's? Um, was Likens like? Did he bring Likens? I think Mario did. No, 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 no. We talking about Lashley. Did he bring Likens? He did. Mm-hmm. Right. And what yeah, about he Coach? Uh, and I think he brought one and the O line right? coach too, right? The O line coach. Did he bring the O line coach? Mario. Lashley. Lashley brought Likens and who else? Oh. Because Field, Fields and Hicks, those are our guys. <laughs> He's coming. Oh. Maddie, you hit, Maddie, you woke? Yeah, I'm here. Look at these comments. Though. Worst Kings team I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that Pittsburgh game was one of the worst games I ever saw, though. If you think if you think 10-2 team, you don't know football. Mario had the worst season out of all the new coaches this year. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Mario, the only one at his alma mater, too. Someone right now crying, I bet you. Nobody feel worse than him. Mario up texting some damn body. <laughs> Mario had the worst. Let me see if you think. Mario had the worst season out of all new coaches this year. These stats, dog. These James, man, it's going to be all right, man. Go get some coffee. Because to me, though, yeah. to me, though, it's obvious what ha- it, to me, to me, it's obvious what happened. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, and to me, it's obvious what happened. Um, yeah, it had nothing to do with this direct the the, the schedule. It had nothing to do with it. Yeah, don't like that. When I said that Middle Tennessee think- boy, these he, he boy look like they didn't want to play. I think that was the beginning of the end. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when, I saw, when I saw it, I was like, and I think back, I think that was the beginning of the year. When I said, boy, like, they want to play today, boy. Texas A&M, they, they, that Texas A&M killed our season because one or two things happened. Either we started smelling ourselves because we ran with Texas A&M, we hung with them and really should have beat them. You know what I'm saying? Not that they didn't beat us, but I'm just saying, like, we left a lot out there on the field. We moved the ball, the stats was there, and all that kind of stuff, right? And that was a big, big showcase for us. And we did well. So people might have rested on their laurels or thought got the smell in their stuff or whatever. It's either that mm-hmm. or losing the Texas a was so frustrating and inflating that something carried over and made us lose to Middle Tennessee. And then that was just the nail in the coffin for the season for whatever reason. Like, it just was. See, we didn't know at the time, but the season just wasn't going to get no better after that. Because we it, still it was did. like, well, we still got ACC play. We, we got ACC play left. And woo, woo, woo. no, nah, that was it right there in hindsight. It did. Actually, seeing that stadium, actually, I, seeing that stadium, playing in that stadium, um, and then coming home, have to play Middle Tennessee in an empty stadium was kind of demoralizing for them. Mm-hmm. Hey, the street. I, when is these guys ever really seen a packed stadium, even at any point in their career prior to that? Um, who tell me this actual team? 
No, nah, I mean, yeah, I mean, not not even Miami related, just little league, college, whatever. Um, well, some well, flag, Florida State, the, Texas, was the Florida right? State game swole? You got a flag from Texas. I mean, they're all from different places, but have did Miami play in a big game? I was asking that question. Remember, I was like, wasn't that a big game we showed up in? Like, Last five, five up. What about the Florida State game? game? Which one? The not this year, but last year that we lost fourth and seventeen, whatever the hell it was. This is this wasn't is that a, a full a crowd noisy game? Which one? Florida State wasn't that a full up up in um up in dope wasn't that a full crowd big game? It it was, I guess. I guess it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That hostile and environment. Then, I don't think you get no bigger than that. <laughs> I think um uh, I think this is right here. Tuan put this on here. I think this is like a report from Flag in high school. Look simply at the production of Corey Flag, accounted for in his junior season for North Shore in, in Houston. It's impossible not to view him as one of the best linebackers in the country. As a starting middle linebacker for an undefeated state championship team, Flag piled up 144 tackles, 33 tackles for loss, and four sacks, five forced fumbles, and four passes defended. He was a a quarterback of the Mustangs' defense. Hmm. His side-to-side quickness led him to contribute to Texas (laughs) Powerhouse. (laughs) What the he was saying? I, I mean, we need we don't have any more info than that. Like, I mean, right. like what the vision was. You know what I'm saying? That like, could you imagine side, like side quickness? Could you imagine the stats of the Shamanar kids if they just continuously keep playing in that in in that conference? You know what I'm saying? That conference. Mm-hmm. The system. They say they play the same system in Little League as they do when they get to high school. Texas football is not a joke, bro. 144 tackles and 30. God, who was he playing against? Like, that's what I would want to know. That's crazy. I mean, te- Texas football is good, bro. It is, but you think it's good straight up and down? Like, you think their lower tiers is like country day or some shit here? You know what I'm saying? Um, no, it's just, it's just, I see the difference. I'm trying to figure out how, how, how I can explain it. Like, probably, I mean, they got talent. You know what I'm saying? Texas has got talent. It's not like ours, but what you getting, what you're getting from them is you're learning the game purely. Like, at our lower levels, yeah, you learn the game, but it's, it's different, bro. If you just a bad, bad kid, you're going to go out there and you're going to play and you're going to kill it. Them people in Texas is teaching you how to play football. So you're not coming in probably struggling with the playbook. You know what I'm saying? You're not coming in not, 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 no, like you can be a playmaker, but you also know how to make plays because they understand the game they can know how to make plays, how to be in position, not just natural instinct, boom, I'm there, I'm just making the play. I'm trying to figure out something I can compare it to, but just like the just the advantage of like just being a, a, a system, they're teaching you the actual game and you're not just playing it, dog. Like it's, it's crazy the way they cherish football out there, man. It's similar what to what? Who, who got anything to compare it to? Columbus? I'm, I'm just trying the whole to whole culture period. Just the whole culture period. Let's look at it like this. Okay, i, I give you an example if, if I can. Um, school, right? Especially for our kids, our black kids, right? Mm-hmm. When these black kids go to, you know, PWIs, of course they're going to get a good education. Whatever. Woo, woo. But there's something deeper for them when they go to HBCUs. They're learning something extra, and you can see the type of persons that they come out and become. Those that go in and take it seriously, not the ones that go up there and 
go to family, just go to the moon every weekend or whatever damn club they was going. But the kids <laughs> that go and they take it serious. Like when you see a lot of us in high places and you figure out the schools that they've gone to, a lot of them be coming from Howard. You know what I'm saying? Be coming from fam. Be co- like, hey, bro, it's just so so much more. You know what I'm saying? So like in Texas, there's just so much more to, that you gain from playing football there, bro. They just raw national, just raw ability. They really put re- resources. What well, we always talk about resources. resources they put uh-huh. resources into their football. Yeah, they they run the same systems that they play in little league. They already know what high schools and middle schools they're going to, and what systems that they're gonna be running. So that's an advantage right there. So you can get a Corey Flag that may not have the size and speed that a Bobby Washington have, but look at his numbers. But that boy been in the same system since he was a jit, bro. And I'm not saying right. that that's his case, but I'm just saying that that's what happens with a lot of them. Here's Gilbert Fireson. He done did that a few times in his career. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that boy dipped that shoulder. So the boy, you know what I'm saying? Like they they make mistakes, and Mario can't see everything. You know what I'm saying? It's really your position coaches at certain spots that put you in games. Your defense coordinator is gonna notice that kind of stuff. And right. with Mario hiring an older guy like Steel, I doubt he's gonna be dipping in there and telling him this kid needs to play that kid. No, he's gonna let Steel run his defense the way he see it. And there may be things that still is not able to see at certain times or whatever. The coaches make way too much credit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't know everything. So, it's not mm-hmm. like yeah. It, I, I always looked at it like, oh, they college coaches. They got no more than the high school coaches, and the high school coaches got to know more than the you you football coaches. No. <laughs> Some of them jokers just got an opportunity. They make mistakes. We, we were looking for playmakers all season, boy. I see, I see, I see a dude making a lot of plays right here. I'm not saying he would have been a star or would have turned our defense around. I'm just saying we did lack for playmakers. And I see a dude making a lot of plays on the screen. Hmm. I don't know, bro. He, he added that now. I wonder if he know where he's going. Probably go over there to Utah State. <laughs> Everybody going to Utah State. Might as well. Or SMU or something. Man, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Go with the familiarity at, man. Go to Missouri, bro. <laughs> Go holler at Blake Baker. Mm-hmm. Everybody going to Utah State. Tennessee is the best team. Come on. Let me see. Yeah. I respect I, I, mean, I don't I don't I don't, I don't think don't he'll go anywhere like big, you know what I'm saying? Unless Manny call at him or something, but I don't see him going nowhere big, so. James say Miami, Miami Phil, Corey Flag. He was a dog in high school. No. Who was no. he playing against, James? <laughs> I, I just want to know. Maybe he was in the highest. Maybe he was in the highest, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he was in the highest. I don't think Miami uh, Phil Corey Flag. Corey Flag is a successful. I think he's a successful. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, I think he's a success. He was leading us in tackles at one point this year. I'm trying to realize. I don't. I'm trying to. I'm trying to realize that that really that that don't mean nothing, huh? <laughs> the person that's leading the tackles don't really mean nothing. Mm-hmm. It don't. Flag, um, Flag did well. Like I, I don't think Miami failed him at all. Um, Flag did well. Like you gotta, you gotta admit sometimes that yeah, he might be a dog in high school, but this is another level. So when you see him out there getting washed by linemen, that's a lack of size. When you see him out there not being able to cover, that's a lack of speed. So he could be a dog, but when you get to the next level, if your physical attributes ain't, you know what I'm saying, up to par. 
Sometimes it's going to look like that. But I think he's making the most of what he has. Right. Hmm. Listen, man, before we get up out of here, dog, if if Miami if, if Miami keep um RIP who? Makai, who is that? If Miami keep uh Miami keep Josh Gaddis, right? Y'all good with that? The only way I could be good with that is if <laughs> where that boy came from. The only way I could be okay with that is if he goes and gets a absolute group of woolly mammoths at the line at the offensive line position. Mm-hmm. And they gotta give Jake 20 minutes in that pocket because I don't want Jake here, not Jake, excuse me. They got to get Tyler 20 minutes in that pocket. I don't want Tyler here, but if that's what's got to happen, so be it. But we cannot sit here and allow Tyler Van Dyke to be behind that line like he was this year and be dealing with some of the things he was dealing with. It's not going to be successful for, for Gaddis if that happens, so... Hmm. That's it. That's all I got. Um, that line will be totally different next year. Totally yeah. different. That's one thing. That's one thing. You know. You know damn well. You know they're gonna fix that. Mirabal and, and Mario. That's gonna be totally. Might be. Might be five, four new faces. You know, who really let me down, man. And I, I didn't have like a huge amount of faith for him, but I saw him start out well. It, it jumped in Campbell. Um, and I know Campbell's always been inconsistent, and I remember when he was coming off injury, and everybody was like, we getting Campbell, but I'm like, eh, you got to prove it. So on the first two or three games, I'm like, oh, hey, yeah, we got something here. Look at Campbell. <laughs> Man, as the season went on, I was just like, oh, my God. Because I'm like, I'm looking toward next year already. I'm like, well, we're going to be straight, man. We're going to have our bookend tackles, Campbell on one side, Zion on the Man, I, boy... Uh, John Campbell played the worst game I've probably ever seen by a lineman in my life. <laughs> and I'm just like, I, I don't know if he should move the guard because he's great when he's pulling. He's great when he's pulling. That's a big body coming at you. So I don't know if he should move the guard or something. But I'm just, I thought our line could be something next year, like with what we had as long as they was healthy. But after probably like the last three games of watching that, I'm just like, oh no, we're gonna need about two, one or two more spots. We gotta get filled. Was it just the injuries? Because everybody agreed the offensive line looked a lot better in the spring, in the summer, in the beginning of the season. Mm-hmm. Uh I, yes and no, right? Injuries made us look worse than what we were. But just as a come on, like, no offense to any of these kids. I love these kids. They play hard and all that good stuff. But, like, we went into th- this thing depending on Scaife. We knew that wasn't a good idea. Depending on Justice, we knew that wasn't a good idea. We thought Campbell might be a good idea. It turned out it wasn't. So, it's like we got three positions, I guess, if Zion is healthy. But we still got a big hole at the other tackle spot. I, right. You ain't got tackles, man. You, oh my gosh, Whew. you asking for it? Oh my gosh, yeah, you asking for it? But you ain't got tackles, so. Um, All right, man. Let's get up out of here, bro. I just wanted to jump on here tonight, man. Appreciate y'all. Y'all got something I want to say. Mario do say Mario is using Kirby Smart strategy just to get pl- the best players out sooner or later. You will win. It's all about Jimmy's and Joes. About it thirty-five. Really about thirty-five. Easy dog. Come thirty-five new faces coming here. Easy. All right, man. Appreciate y'all, boy. Go ahead, Street. Raymond right, right, said that was a Mi- Street. He said that's a Miami Central player. You know who that is? Who? Makai, the, that's the, the kid that got shot. Yeah. Got shot. 
Yes, the quarterback they got mm-hmm. shot yesterday. No oh, I ain't hear nothing. Yeah. I, oh, mm-hmm. I ain't even hear about that. Wow. I think that's I, I think that's what we're talking about. Yeah, I think that's what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, man. Holler at me. All right, easy. All right, fellas. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, man, 786-459-499. If y'all want to jump in IOD squad, if you want to become a football villain and get access to extra info down there by the logo, it should be a join button. And if you got an iPhone, they hiding it from you. Don't put off tomorrow something you can do today. The rest of your life will be seconds away. I'm out of here.